Hey guys, I'm Dr. Mike Burkhead, AKA I'm Dr. Bay. Right now I wanna tell you how to make your own hand sanitizer. I've seen a lot of videos that tell you how to make your own hand sanitizer and they're all BS. And here's why. Because when you make hand sanitizer, when you pump that stuff on your hand and rub it in, you want it to be like at least the gel consistency of real hand sanitizer, am I right? You don't want it to be like water, pumping up water on your hand. And so I'm going to show you the World Health Organization and the FDA, they have a recipe for making hand sanitizer. And I'm going to make it one step better by turning it into a gel for just a few dollars. So the things you're gonna need, you're gonna need an empty bottle to put your, this actually has a little bit of water in it. This was a soap bottle, I rinsed it out, has water in the bottle, I'll dump that out. But this, what, this is what I'm gonna put my hand sanitizer in. You're gonna need pure grain 95% alcohol, okay? We're going to dilute this down till it's about 80%. You're gonna need 3% hydrogen peroxide, 99% glycerin, this is also called glycerol, and you're going to need, uh, this is called thicken up. People that have difficulty swallowing, it's, called, it's a condition called dysphagia, they have to put this stuff in their water to make the water as thick as honey or nectar or whatever the dietician says to make their water as thick as. And so you'll get thicken up, this is $12 at Walgreens, and you want to make sure you get thicken up clear. The reason because the ingredients on regular thicken up is cornstarch and maltodextrin. You don't want cornstarch. The clear thicken up is uh, xanthan gum. If you can find pure xanthan gum, that's even better. Okay. The rest of the stuff I actually got at Walmart. This glycerin you get at Walmart. This stuff obviously you get at Walmart. You can get it anywhere you want. Um, you're gonna need measuring cup to pour it all into. I don't use the measuring cup to measure. I use it to pour stuff into. It. This. One fourth measuring cup I use to actually measure. I need a milliliter measuring uh, syringe, and here is some pre-measured water. So that's all you're gonna need. So what you're gonna do is, now, like I said, this is FDA and World Health Organization recipe. So the FDA World Health Organization recipe actually wants you to, they give you a recipe to make 10 liters. I don't want 10 liters, so I'm gonna scale that back. So instead of 8,333 milliliters, I'm gonna use a fourth cup of pure grain, 95% ethanol or alcohol. Pour it in, done, okay? Next, I'm going to take some glycerin, one milliliter of glycerin. I'm going to pull back the alcohol and squirt it back in there just to make sure I got it all out. Okay, and that's the wrong lid. And then the last step is I need some peroxide. I don't want to contaminate my peroxide, so I'm gonna squirt it in that cup there. I need three milliliters of peroxide. So I've got three milliliters, boom, I'm done. Last of all, I want eight milliliters of pure water. The, the World Health Organization says that it needs to be sterile water or it needs to be boiled. Tap water in the US is pretty clean, okay? Done, boom, you mix it up, boom. That is what the World Health Organization says your hand sanitizer should look like. Uh-uh, no. That's why we have thicken up, okay? You take one scoop, one scoop, because it's about a fourth of a cup, the instructions say that if you had a half a cup, two scoops would make it honey thick. Well, if it's a fourth of a cup, then one scoop should make it honey thick, right? So I put that in there and you immediately stir for 20 to 30 seconds. You're gonna stir it for 20 to 30 seconds and then you're gonna let it sit for five minutes. In five minutes, I know that's a time lapse, I'm just gonna pour it in here into this uh, cleaned out soap dispenser. You can see it's a little bit thickened, right? You definitely can see that. Okay, that is my alcohol, thickened alcohol. Okay, it is a diluted alcohol to 80%. If you wanna use isopropyl alcohol, you can, uh, but the, the instructions are a little bit different. I'm gonna post the link to the World Health Organization instructions down below. Okay, so I've got uh, a fourth cup in here. I'm gonna, okay, that's water because I cleaned it out with water. But there we go, alcohol. Hey boys, come here. I'm gonna have my boys test it out, see what they think. That is nice alcohol. All right, put your hand out. Put your hand out. Rub them together, real good. Get them sanitized. That's what, smooth. What do you think? It's like, it feels like lotion, it's like so smooth. That's the other thing, guys. Because we're using xanthan gum, your hands are going to feel like lotion. Xanthan's going to hold moisture into your skin. And this has a little bit of maltodextrose. If you can find pure xanthan, it's gonna work even better. So that is your new hand sanitizer. It works like the real deal. See the links below, I'm Dr. Bay. Click and subscribe, click like.